Europe is the center of the pandemic right now. According to the World Health Organization, all 44 countries affected in some way. In Germany, the bustle of school life absent, colleges closed, classrooms quiet. Empty shelves a problem in many countries as the public stockpile goods from supermarkets. Politicians calling for collective action. Wir werden das Virus besiegen. We will defeat the virus, for which I ask all of us, let us be reasonable, let us show solidarity. Sometimes this requires drastic action, as is now the case. We have to change our daily lives, each and every one of us. The first cases of this coronavirus in Europe were confirmed in France in late January, where a nationwide lockdown is now in place. The health minister here is cautiously optimistic that the number of infections can be stabilised now that people are following the government's guidelines and staying indoors. As the weather warms up, places like Greece should be preparing for more visitors. But ancient monuments and museums are shut in Athens. The coronavirus is not the only crisis that Greece is facing, as people flee to Europe from conflict-hit countries. Aid workers are concerned about an outbreak at refugee camps. Now, we all know that COVID-19 is very infectious. All health authorities are saying, wash your hands, stay in isolation. How do you want this to happen in Moria camp? There's no place to wash your hands, let alone several times a day. And how about isolation when everybody is packed into camps, uh, tents and containers? Russia is using China's model and building a makeshift hospital. As the coronavirus spreads across Europe, countries having to come up with new ways to tackle the increase in patients. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Paris.